Hey guys, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. I think officially the Tiffany craze might have hit critical mass because I received a watch this week in a slightly Tiffany coloured box, although there is a really cool watch inside this. I mean, where do you even get a turquoise box like this? There is a really cool watch inside and it's the latest limited edition watch from the team over at IFL. This is the company that we looked at who beautifully customised that G-Shock watch with that deep sea pattern. This is something a little bit different. It isn't ocean inspired, but a real incredible artist has painted these dials. They are limited edition because I imagine painting a dial to this high standard means that you can only make a handful within a certain time. I'm going to try and do my best to take as many macro shots as possible to try and do dial justice. I doubt that I'll fully do it justice, but we'll give it a go. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's flip the camera around. We'll dive into reviewing this latest edition from the team over at IFL. This is the Citizen Soyosa. It has been a bit of a darling of the YouTube review community, so I won't go into an in-depth review of the watch itself. If you're interested in that, there's been some great uploads already done. My friend Watch Chris did one, Teddy did one, Generelli did a great one as well. So I won't go into an in-depth review of the watch itself, but let's just go over the basics. This is the, the Soyosa. This is a 40 millimeter cased watch. Lug to lug is 44, but it's really 49 because we have this little extra here, this integration, this connection where the integrated bracelet attaches. It's only just over 12 millimeters thick, which is, means it's very wearable. And then we have a 9.1 millimeter lug width. I don't know why they put that on the on there website that is a 9.1 millimeter lug width because i'm guessing you can't get another strap to go with that but it does have a mini spring bar on the back this beautiful gold movement this is the citizen 8210 movement miyota movement of course usually i'm not a big fan of the 8000 series miyota movements but this one has has it all it doesn't have a noisy rotor which some of the 8000 series do have it has hacking hand winding, a quick set date. So overall, a very robust movement that you're getting in this watch. The bracelet on here as well is a decent quality. I was expecting it to be a little a little more jangly than it is. It's quite solid. Pressed clasp push button deployant with a pressed mechanism and then a nicely signed citizen clasp. Very wearable. Let me just throw it on my wrist. Here you can see it on my 7.2 inch wrist. Suits me very well real nice proportion the watch is activated by this recessed crown so you do have to get your nail into it a little bit but once the crown is out easy to set the watch the date the time and also you can hand wind it from there as well bracelet has a mixture of brushed and polished elements which really elevates the quality look of this watch it does feel solid also the brushing is done to a very high standard the chamfers down the side are sharp the brushing all in the same direction and is gives the watcher really elevates the look of the watch and then of course we have the highly polished flix fixed bezel and then the cyclops on the sapphire crystal i think the back is sapphire as well although it might be mineral crystal i, I couldn't find an exact uh, reference there or, or at least it was conflicting what i was finding online but the front the bit that matters is sapphire the only disappointing thing i think with this watch is that it's a 50 meter water resistance so you just have to be careful swimming with it but i think this piece the way it looks is probably going to be kept as more of a of a daily wear or maybe even a, a dress piece the base caliber of this watch i can't work out exactly what the original dial color was i think it might have been the blue but clearly i'm guessing they would have used one of the lighter colors so that they can get more of a vibrant once they painted it more of a vibrant representation of the colors that are painted on top and these base models i think they're around the 300 dollar mark you can get them for this one because it has that additional painted dial this is going to be 890 euros so i'm guessing around the 900 dollar mark which actually i believe makes it more affordable than the g-shock i've only got the euro price so definitely check out the website for a more up-to-date price it goes live today which is the 29th of january the last g-shock that we reviewed sold out i think within a couple of hours now on to the star of the show which is just this incredible painted dial i was blown away with the ocean scene that we saw on the g-shock and i think this is just as impressive even though there's a little bit less going 
going on here than in the ocean scene. I think less is more. They've used a, a matte black. So if this was a black dial watch, they haven't used the original black dial. They've used a matte backing, which really accentuates the hands of this watch and also the indices. I don't know this for certain because a lot of the, the technique is shrouded a bit in mystery or is proprietary, but I'm guessing that they removed the indices and then reapplied them because there is no paint overflow on any of the indices or, or any mistakes that have been made and it's very sharp the transition between the indices and the dial so I suspect that they've reapplied the indices afterwards and obviously they've, they've taken the hands off but that goes without saying. What we have here is a representation of a planet probably Saturn with its ring I'm guessing and then we have an astronaut surfing so this is a space surfer this watch is being called and it's a very intricate design there is a lot of detail that's been done by a highly skilled artist using enamel paint the astronaut is surfing we've got some flames coming off the surfboard and before i get any comments yes i'm sure the physics of how this will ha would happen how the flames would fall is not how it would happen in the real world but this is a, obviously a cartoon representation of an astronaut surfing flames coming off the back again done in a very vibrant color palette and the the way the planet's been painted to show some of the gases in the atmosphere beautifully visually done the contrast between the stars and the matte black dial like, give a beautiful depth to the di dial a beautiful visualization and they've kept the citizen logo on there so i'm not sure if they repainted that citizen logo on there but it, it looks very sharp i'm not sure quite how they would have done it if they painted round it because i think that would have been incredibly difficult really impressed how they've done this they've done a, a multitude of watches on their site they use they've done a lot of g-shocks they've done the tso prx they've even done some higher end ones like the oris but what i like about ifl is that they're giving these artistic watches or watches with high artistry added to them. Even for that money to get this painting on the dial and get a decent, really decent base caliber citizen watch as well, I think is really cool. It's adding something different to the community and whether I would perhaps wear this or not myself, I think is beside the point. I like that they exist and I'm glad that they're doing these customizations of the dial. It, it really adds a nice and interesting element to the watch collecting community. IFL did send me this in, so a big thank you to them as always i'm really interested especially on this one let me know what you think is this a type of watch that you would add to your collection do you like the space theme did you prefer the ocean theme that was on the g-shock let me know in the comment section down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and then join us on the live stream let me know what you think of these watches live always really appreciate you watching see you next time on casual watch reviews